Hey there, how's it going? I'm uh, doing a little bit of a review of the XPED Sinmat 7 Deluxe sleeping pad. I've been using it for over 100 days now and uh, just wanted to show you some little basics of the pad and uh, go through the inflation process. I wrote a detailed review on my website www.tiredofit.ca if you want the gritty details of the weight and some sort of other specifications. But we'll just start off with a little bit of the basics here. It's nice and compact, fits uh, very nicely into my, my trunk bag. It's pretty lightweight, and it's about two pounds. The thing that I liked about it is that uh, it packed up nice and small as opposed to some of the other mattresses from uh, Thermarest and uh, the other competitors. So I'm gonna open it up here. I'm gonna pull it out of its stuff sack, uh, which also doubles as a pillowcase. And uh, then I'm going to go through the uh, the inflation. So um, I'm going to put put the camera down right on this picnic table here, and I'm going to going to go through that process. And hopefully you can hear me this time. This is the uh, the second time that I've done this video. So like I said, it comes out of this stuff sack like this. Pretty easy to pull out. You can stuff this full of clothes if you really wanted to. There's a loop on the end here that you can uh, connect it over to the end of this mattress here use it as a pillow so it just extends it a little bit longer it is a long mattress in the first place though uh, so sometimes that may not fit in your tent like this it just folds out the gray is the bottom orange is the top it's got a little bit of a stench to it you know tired sweaty cyclists sweating all over it at night kind of gross the orange part is the top it's got a nice little velvety feel to it nice on your skin so basically you just never want to pack this thing up wet as with anything moisture is your enemy a little bit of a uh, soft soft detergent light detergent and uh, give it a little bit of a scrub will uh, will help this valve right here that I'm looking at pointing at right here is uh, the deflate valve so I'm gonna plug this one back up and uh, I'm show you this right here the inflator You've got these two little hand hand guides right here. You take off this inflation plug and then you put it down on the ground and you just do some real steady inflation movements. Kind of like performing CPR, doing compressions. If you go if you go like that, you're not gonna get any far. So take it easy, slow and steady. I think it's 80 or 90 times or so we'll get it nice and pumped up or whatever firmness that you like. And uh, that's that. So when it does inflate, it's a uh, it's got seven centimeters of of lift that protects you from the ground, insulates you. It's good to minus 17 Celsius, which is pretty good. I don't think I'll be cycle touring any colder than minus 10, but you never really know. It's always nice to have a little bit extra. They've got a, a nine centimeter version. Of course, it comes with a little bit more resources. And uh, this one's filled with a synthetic uh, microfiber, microfill material. We've got another model as well that's filled with down. And uh, of course, you get what you pay for, the price goes up from there. I've been pretty satisfied with this one so far. And so I'm recommending it to anybody who's looking for a compact mattress to go camping, cycle touring, backpacking or to set it up in their living room if they have a guest. So I've got it pretty pretty tight. I can't really get it too much. It's making little squeaking sounds. As you can see it's nice and inflated here. I can I can line it. I don't feel nothing from the ground. I feel great. I'm ready for a night's sleep. So that's pretty much the end of my end of my review. Deflation is pretty much as simple as is that you got to get all the air out, fold it up into threes, roll it up, put it right back in the stuff sack. If you want to go through that, I suggest that you start the video all over again and watch it in reverse. 